Hi mom, I just, I'm going to do three separate videos and the first one is the flowers in the yard so I'm starting with my geraniums out front. They've been inside all winter, they were outside in the front here last summer and I'm going to put them back outside again soon. Um, I have a bunch of seedlings but I don't have too many flowers coming in. The marigolds didn't work. My pots are just full of weeds right now. And I guess I'm going to have to buy seedlings once my credit card rolls over. Um, and there's violets in many places in the yard. Here's a few right now, right here. And they're purple. Even though they look blue, my camera doesn't get the colors right. And um, these are, what are, they, what are they called? Oh goodness. Um, dragon lilies. Haven't bloomed yet. Um, here's some of the first irises. And these two are very purple. It might not come up so well in the camera. And here's daylilies. Not out yet. <laughs> um, down here in the mid um, section of the yard, the terrace, I've got flocks coming in. And bee balm also known as bergamot, but it's not the same kind that's in the Earl Grey tea. Um, here there's a section of myrtle, and those are some really pretty little flowers too. Very kind of a dark purple, really. Much darker than they look here. Um, I've got some columbine that'll be blooming in a little while, and some more irises in this midsection terrace here, and we've got Celandine, which is an invasive weed, but it's pretty, but I have to keep pulling it out of the yard. It spreads like crazy. And bleeding hearts. And they've spread quite a bit too, which is great because they're gorgeous. Um, more bleeding hearts. Down here some more violets. All along here we've got violets. And more celandine. Um, more violets and a really pretty little plant over here. I don't know what this is. I've been wondering about that. So more bleeding hearts down there and here. Violets mixed in with this bunch of irises that hasn't bloomed yet. And more violets down here mixed in with mint and over there, lemon balm. Um, <coughs> excuse me. There were two white irises here, but they're gone already. Um, and the main beds are down here at the bottom. Here's my spot in the yard where I hang out and read and get sun in the late morning and early afternoon. And there's a whole bunch of irises coming in over here. Um, Here's some that have bloomed. There's a whole bunch more. And a bunch more there. And this is a really beautiful plant. I'm not sure what it is, but it gets all these long, light blue strings, strings of flowers that come out. And it's just a big, bright blue bush when it does well. It's a little different every year. Um, Got a what's it called? What's this thing called? Um, <laughs> I forget. Um, it'll come to me. And there are some other really beautiful flowers that come in in the late summer here. Um, some kind of aster, I believe. And oh, peony is the one, the bush back there. Um, it only blooms sometimes, and usually just one flower. Uh, this right here. Is Asian lilies and they are big and dark and red and gorgeous when they come in. Um, so here's another view of the irises that are already blooming. They sure are gorgeous. Let me get up close on one of them. That one's kind of folded over. Very pretty. Anyway, um, there's a 
butterfly bush, or an uh, Indian paintbrush, I think it's called, actually, sorry. Um, down here we have, whole, mixed in with the raspberry, a whole bunch more um, bee balm. It's bright and magenta, big stand of it there. Um, when it blooms, and the hummingbirds love it, here's more celandine. This is actually toxic, which is one of the reasons I had to go all over the yard and remove it, and I keep finding more and having to remove more. Um, more bleeding hearts. It looks a little better when it's not so zoomed up. Um, and there's forget-me-nots. All along here there's forget-me-nots that I got from my friend Karen's yard last year. Um, and they're, they're spreading, which is fine with me. They're a lovely thing to have spread. And for some reason they remind me of you. I just remembered that you liked them. And here they're in the camera now. They look really faded, but they're really a very pretty, slightly purpley blue color, which is gorgeous. Anyway, so that's the flowers. And I'm going to end this video now and start the next one.